In this video, we will learn that how and when we stretch or compress a graph. And to understand this concept, we have constructed a table. In first row, we will see different operations on y is equal to f of x and their effect on the graph. In second row, there will be new equation that will be formed after the operation on the function y is equal to f of x. And in third row, we will discuss the geometric effect of this operation on the graph. And lastly, we will discuss an example. For example, we have considered the function y is equal to cos x. We will construct the graph of this function and see the effect of operations on y is equal to f of x on the graph of this function. The first operation that we are considering is when we multiply f of x by c, where c is a constant and is greater than 1. Then the new equation will be y is equal to c times f of x. And geometric effect of this operation is that it stretches the graph of y is equal to f of x vertically by a factor of c. Now we will apply this operation on this example. Here this is the graph of y is equal to cos x. Now if we multiply this function by a constant c, let consider c be 2. Then the new function will be y is equal to 2 times cos x. Graph in the black color is the graph of the function 2 cos x. The difference between the graph of cos x and 2 cos x is that the graph of 2 cos x is stretched vertically by a factor of 2 as compared to the graph of cos x. The second operation that we will discuss is when we multiply f of x by a constant c where c is between 0 and 1. The new equation that is formed is y is equal to c times f of x and its geometric effect is that it compresses the graph of function y is equal to f of x vertically by a factor of 1 by c. Now we will apply this second operation on the graph of y is equal to cos x. If we consider c between 0 and 1, let's see if c is equal to 1 by 2. Then the new function will be y is equal to 1 by 2 cos x. The graph in the black color is the graph of the function y is equal to 1 by 2 cos x. The difference between the graph of cos x and 1 by 2 cos x is that the graph of 1 by 2 cos x is compressed vertically by a factor of 1 by 2 when compared to the graph of cos x. The third operation is when we multiply x by c, where c is a constant and is greater than 1. Then the new equation will be y is equal to f of cx. And its geometric effect is that it compresses the graph of function y is equal to f of x horizontally by a factor of c. Now let's apply this operation on this example. If we consider c equal to 2, then new function will be y is equal to cos 2x. The graph in black color is the graph of cos 2x. If we compare the graph of cos x and cos 2x, the difference is that the graph of cos 2x is compressed 
horizontally by a factor of 2 as compared to the graph of cos x. The fourth and last operation that we are going to discuss regarding this concept is when we multiply x by c where c is a constant and is between 0 and 1. Then the new equation that will be formed is y is equal to f of cx. And geometric effect of this operation is that it stretches the graph of function y is equal to f of x horizontally by a factor of 1 by c. Now let's apply this concept on this example. If we consider c equal to 1 by 2 which is that 1 by 2 is between 0 and 1. Then the new equation will be y is equal to cos 1 by 2x. The graph in the blue color is the graph of cos x and the graph in black color is the graph of cos 1 by 2x. If we compare the graph of these two functions, we can see that the graph of cos 1 by 2x is stretched horizontally by a factor of 1 by 2 when compared to the graph of cos x.